These are the top 10 performing stocks in 2023 with number one clocking with an above 200% return year to date. ALGN kicking things off here, Align Technology Inc. Never heard of this company before. They are a large player though in the healthcare space. Currently up to date this year, 44% gain. If that aligns with your investment thesis, consider picking up some shares. At number nine, PHM Pulte Group Inc. I thought maybe this was a poultry or chicken company. It turns out they build buildings there in residential construction and they have been booming this year to the profit of their stock of up 60% in 2023. So build that into your portfolio if you like those kind of returns. WST is in number eight, West Pharmaceutical Services. They make drugs and get paid a lot of money to do so to the tune of their stock price increasing by nearly 65% year to date. At number seven, we've got General Electric or GE. This company's tried, true and tested. They've been around a long time, but still plugged in, still chugging away. A bad electrical joke for you, but their stock price is anything but bad. Up to date this year, it is up about 69%. In sixth place, Palo Alto Networks, P-A-N-W right there. I thought this was some kind of media company at first glance, but the giveaway should have been in the name. It is software, it is in the West Coast, it is tech heavy, and they are up year to date a whopping 74%. And yes, these are companies picked for you specifically from the S&P 500 because they have three things going for them. Stability, historical patterns of success, and the ability to make lots and lots of money. Hold in steady at number five, the Carnival Corporation, CCL. They specialize in leisure travel, luxury cruise ships, getting people to those island properties and just cruising around, making a bunch of money doing it, looking in at a 75% increase year to date. That is something you wanna to add to your portfolio if you wanna set it on cruise control and let the money come rolling in. Number four, RCL, another cruise line. Big year for the shipping industry. If you like being on ships, having some drinks, relaxing, it's a good year to be the stock owners as well. This one up to date this year, around 83% of return. Things are good as long as you don't get stranded out at sea. First up in our top three, mega cap stock, Tesla, T-S-L-A. You know, Elon Musk company makes a lot of money shipping their cars all around the world. This year, in fact, has been so good, they have been up stock-wise 130-ish percent. So if you want to add a stock to your portfolio and put it on autopilot, maybe this is the one you want to do that. Second spot on our list today, or known as the biggest loser by Ricky Bob, because if you're not first, you're last, is Meta. Zuckerberg trimmed some costs, got things back in line financially, and the company has responded beautifully in the stock world. Look at the rise this year. The green bars tell the story. The stock is up a whopping 142% year to date with much room to grow in the future. And maybe you guessed it or had a feeling, but NVIDIA, NVDA is the stock at the top of the totem pole today with a crazy return this year of over 200% year to date. That is an obscene amount of cash and number one on our mega cap list for top performers in 2023. So now I want you to think about these key three things if you're gonna consider adding any of these stocks to your investment portfolio. Number one, can they increase their revenue or have they been increasing their revenue year over year consistently? Making more money all the time is generally a good sign. Number two, is their free cash flow position increasing as well? This is the amount of money they have saved up for a rainy day in case things don't go well or there's a potential for recession. And number three, are they led by strong leadership that has been in place long-term and has kind of guided them through other kind of economic uncertainties in the past? Strong leaders empower good people, good people produce big results and tying to number one and two, giving the company more cash flow long-term. And if you do end up buying shares of these stocks, let me know which one in the comments for this video. I'm a meta man myself, having a few hundred shares in my account personally. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one.